the museum room. I can't read anything. Another mistake I've made, didn't bring my glasses. Garden archaeology. These things were found, surface finds from the prairie grounds and gardens, 1969 to 1993. Some of the things that just came up, as in the nice glass bottle. Well, that is. Clay pipe. Looks like a little doll figure. Stirrup, maybe. Figurine or something. Now that bit there, that's the barn. I've taken some photographs of that. This monastic barn to the northwest of the Priory is the most imposing medieval building at Woodspring. Mm. Building is twelve twenty seven no, one hundred and twenty seven feet long. Six entrances to the building. Mm. Oh, I used to have one of those. Can't remember what happened to it. Can't remember which child I gave that to. I had one of those. I'm surprised I let anyone have it really, because I've had it for years. All right, yeah, that's the holy well. Below the eastern end of the barn is a medieval well of most interesting construction. Fifteen stone steps descend within a stone enclosure to the wellhead. The depth of the water from this point is about seven feet. The steps were constructed to enable the monks to gain access to the water level as it sank through continual use. Today, because the well is redundant as a water supply, the spiral steps are submerged. The spring that supplies the well is probably the World Spring, or le lately Wood Spring, from which the place des derives its name. Mm. And we've got the tap water by the barn, um, so I don't know if that comes out as a well or not. What it says is Western Supermare. Some sort of soldiers. Grove Studios. We'll use this here. John. Hugh Smith Piggott, 1790-1853. He must have something to do with this place. Big fireplace. Some sort of coat of arms. In there. Got a book all about Woodspring Priory. Old one, fossil, something fossil of a fern leaf. Both were recovered from the infilling of the south window of the west bedroom. I expect this sort of door goes up into the um, 
tower or something like that. Lots of people probably do drawings of it. So this is part of the church, but it's been turned into a museum. It might have been a private chapel or something once. Hmm. There's the gardens outside. Like I say, there's people living part of this... Um, building. It's a private residence. A door, little doorway over there. Yeah. Big old fireplace. Right, this is Sheila. I'm just doing a little read of this um, church. There is a relic, apparently, that um, a cup that belonged to Thomas Beckett that was um, kept in hiding. Um, William de Courtney was one of the founders of the Priory many moons ago. Um, anyway, so... Beckett's relic was kept at Wood Spring. Relics were important objects to monasteries, bringing extra revenue to the houses where they were kept. Pilgrims obviously came to look at them. John Hughes Smith Bigger, that's him over there on the wall. Um, he was the illegitimate son of Sir Hugh Smith. He's got something to do with that benefactor, I suppose, including Woodspring Priory. Yeah, and there's some grave slabs at Flat Home and Steep Home, and there's one in here apparently in the North Isle. Um, best example of a blue lias grave slab. So. Uh, where the cup is that we're going on about. I thought that would have been kept somewhere really safe. Right, I'm going out of here now.